All right, let's finish this Odyssey. Also, it's Halloween. If you couldn't tell. Ooh, limited time stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? Is there no new limited time stuff? <sighs> Boring. Anyway, let's finish this Odyssey. Right, we just finished Pat's Pond. Blunarius Prime is going to be a pain, but then the last two maps seem like they'll be all right. Uh, hard reverse, 31 to 80. Okay. I'm just thinking about all the difficult rounds and if they are prime numbers or not. Oh well, we've got 13 towers to split among three maps. Not bad at all. Still four towers per map. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Immediately starting on a prime numbered round. No, not necessarily. But at the same time, yeah, I think 31 is a prime number. Question mark? I'm pretty sure it's a prime number. A lot of the times you can just guess and you'll be right. Um, where do I want my defense? What do I want my defense? I guess Heli Pilot's actually pretty solid here. Because it'll only ever be coming out of one track at a time. It's never like... It never splits off, you know? If it was the regular map, where it always comes out from here and then splits off, that could be a little awkward with it bouncing between here. But because it's reverse, it'll only ever really be coming out one side and by the time it gets here, it's too late anyway. So, let's put Ben up there. Put down a heli pilot. I think that would be a decent enough start. How do we do? Oh yes, and balloon speed is normal, increased, regular, yeah, just normal. So we are dealing with regular balloon speed now. I don't think we could do this whole thing with just a heli. I feel like that would be very wishful thinking. But, I mean, we can keep him around for as long as we need to. He can pop every type of balloon. Um, so yes. Also, things at work going very nicely. Very nice. First day of being back to just regular picks. <sighs> it's so pleasant. There is no longer triple the amount of stuff that we need. And we're no longer having to take like ages to search for all the shit that we need. Because we have the appropriate amount of shit. And it's so much less work. It's great. It really is. And so hopefully we keep that up and they realize just how valuable that is for us. <laughs> okay, it's all right if we leak a few. Yeah, see, this is where the problem I mentioned was gonna come in, because this motherfucker will absolutely bounce between these two. Hmm. But yeah, it's all right if we leak a few. Even if we leak that many, it's all right, because Ben gives us our lives back. He should have us back to 150 in no time. Okay, maybe you do need a bit of help. <laughs> Probably should have done this earlier. Ben, when do you start giving us lives back? When you get to level 6. Five lives each round. Five times 30. 30 rounds. We'd need to have Ben out for to get our lives fully restored. A little bit less than that, to be honest. I'm just overshooting, to be sure. Um, do I complement it with a plane? No, I need to complement it with something like a boat. Uh, what if we put a boat, say, here? Looks that way it could help out with down there if I boost it. Um, do I want hooks or do I want just power? Let's go hooks. Why not? Might as well. Oh yeah, that's helping. You might not be able to tell, but it is definitely helping. Ben, level up already. I want my lives back, buddy. 
not a request, that's a demand. There's a slight difference. <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, this guy should help keep the heli in line. Perfect. But yeah, work is finally going back to normal. Thank God for that. Uh, hey, we're getting our lives back again. That's nice. Oh boy. Yep, we're losing our lives again. Might sell that boat and reposition it. Just to make things a bit easier. Nothing drastic. Just so long as it uh, helps keep the peace, right? There we go. Because as we all know, as numbers continuously increase, there are less and less prime numbers as you keep going up. Okay, 46 is not a prime number. 47 is a prime number. Yes. That looks like a nice round. Uh, 48 is not a prime number. 49 is not a prime number. 50 is not a prime number. 51. I don't know, actually. Is 51 a prime number? I don't think so. I think something times something else is 51. My knowledge about prime numbers is just so vast. Um, maybe I'd go for the dart ship. Really? Okay. Maybe I just sell it to buy the dart ship then instead of rebuying. Can I even afford the dart ship if I sell it? Nope. Alright, fine. What if we go for damage instead? Screw the camo balloons. This guy's got the camo balloons covered. It's the other shit. Yes, you might think that this is a massive waste of money by me doing this, but I won't have to do this nearly as frequently every time I, I do. I just keep swapping back and forth. I'm still making money. It is a bit, you know, here and there, but uh, believe me, this is, this is going to work out. I feel like we won't need much more than just these two. Good, good, good. Please don't tell me 51's a... a prime number. I think it might be. Hey, it's not. Cool, 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 cool. Even better. Dodge it. Sixty-three is not a prime number, so that'll be coming out of here. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Now I'm feeling confident. A bit more confident. Good. Oh, hell yeah. This is working very well. Also, I've worked at my job for a year now. A full year. I started October last year. And, uh... Damn, things have changed a lot since starting out there. Mainly, my bank account. That has been increasing, which has been great. Probably the best part about working. Um, gotta say that, you know. I am fortunate enough... Bleh, I can't speak. I am fortunate enough to... Uh, 
still be living at home with my parents. And they are still very much kind enough to uh, house me instead of just kick me on the street. Which I am incredibly grateful for. And I think about that every day. Because I know that other people are not nearly as uh, lucky. Um, but I'm using that to uh, save up money for being able to look after myself and live independently. And, uh, and hopefully I can do the same for my kids if I have a have any. One day, maybe. One day. Okay, how do we deal with 63? It should be fine. Like, it, yeah, it'll take a bit, but I don't see why we would lose to it at all. Okay, we're approaching 28,000 for all of that land. Uh, for the uh, Pirate Lord. Do we want a Pirate Lord? Hmm. May as well. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It can make me money, and then if I regret it, I can take it back later. Simple stuff. Too drastic. Like it. Good. But yeah, it, I mean, considering this was the uh, the reverse policy, um, I guess it does make sense that we've kind of already beaten the hard maps on the uh, the harder difficulties, and now we're moving on to some more easier stuff. So it makes sense that we're using less towers and we can still power through type thing. Cool. Damn, I, I also I um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I am slowly getting back into Pokemon Go with my sisters. And uh brought it up at work today. And then my boss checked his phone and he was like, I wonder if I still have it downloaded. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> oh, man. I absolutely love my boss. Because I get the feeling if I went anywhere else to work and I brought even 1% of energy to my boss at that new place, as I do with my boss at this place, Guaranteed I'd get fired. On the spot. Like, our boss is so amazing, and we get away with a lot of shit that we probably shouldn't get away with if it was, like, any other boss at any other workplace. Like, the other day, one of my mates just sort of yelled out to our boss and just went, Hey! Hey, what's your name? And then our boss just screamed out Ezekiel. His name's not Ezekiel. He just screamed out Ezekiel. And then my mate was just like, Fuck you, Ezekiel! <laughs> and my boss just played along. It was... It was amazing. Absolutely loved it. I think they were referencing some sort of meme. But, uh... I... I vaguely remember hearing something about it, but I didn't pick up on it fully. Um, but anyway. The point is... We can, we can yell fuck you straight to our boss and... It's kind of just a, a good time <laughs> for everybody involved. Anyway, uh, so yeah, now I've got my boss added on Pokemon Go. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I didn't think I'd get him back into it, but it seems I have convinced him. Okay, wait for the third one. Grab those, thanks. No way. No, we won't be able to afford it. Still, pretty cool if we did. I'm hooking these in so I can hook the ZOMG in next round. Oh. GG! But um, 
my first time playing on Dark Path officially. And now we've got 11 crew for two maps. Five per map. Hell yes. Not actually played on Dark Path. I imagine it's harder than Park Path. But we shall see. Alright. Just confirming. Yep. Blocks line of sight. Can't put anything on top unless you put it up here. And I'm fairly certain they do a little loop-de-loop -loop in the middle. Yep. Little loop-de-loop. -loop, and then they go out the top. But, of course, this is on reverse, so usually it would be the other way around. But, that doesn't matter. That's a little cave. Ooh. <gasps> do it again. <gasps> do it again. <gasps> do it again. <gasps> oh. Anyway, that was cool. I didn't know that could happen. Ah, I do see now there are cracked. Ah, and you could do the same here with these three and that one. Ah, very sneaky. I like it. I like it. I'm going to try and beat it without it, but I do enjoy a good mystery. And I want to put a wizard up here. I do still want to put Benjamin down. I hope the wizard will... Put that wall of fire down in time. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good spot. Oh, this is gonna be an amazing spot. That's interesting. Yeah, I really wanted to keep Ben down so we could actually get decent income. I think Ben was a really good choice for this, obviously. I don't think I would have picked anyone else. If I had to replay it again, I think Ben was always the choice. Okay, we do leak a few lives here and there. I'm not going to say that this strategy is bulletproof here, but it's good enough, and Ben's going to give me the lives back anyway, so what do I care? Oh god! What doesn't kill you? Certainly fucking leaves a mark, eh? Come on, just live long enough. Thank you. Yeah, I did kind of forget about purple balloons, huh? Um, guess if we have you here. If we get you to like a crossbow or something, you're gonna have the range of a, of a goddamn titan. It'll be great. There you go. That's pretty good. That should pop any purple pesky balloons. Pesky purples. I suppose we could also put down a, uh, an ace or something. Ace or another heli instead. Eh, this is fine. There we go. That's what we needed to happen. Ben, how are we looking on lives? We need 30 rounds to restore all lives. Uh, and so we're, we're still gonna we're still gonna get it back to full. Hell yeah. Right. I'm thinking summon Phoenix, then maybe into Crossbow Master, and then we should absolutely crush it. I see no reason for us to fail. You know what I don't get though? Like I understand if you want to remove this. And then I understand even more if you want to remove this one on top of that. But why this one? What use would you get from removing this one? You know? Like this one, sure. If you want to place a tower here and make sure that it can hit the middle, Hell yeah, that's good positioning. Even better, if you remove this and then you can move it up a bit, a little closer to the middle, right? And then this one, I sort of don't understand, but at the same time, you know, if you can't fit a super monkey in here even after removing this, or something big, then sure, yeah, remove that one. Gives it a bit more wiggle room. You might be able to fit one in there. But this one? What are you looking for? Line of sight for a sniper to hit the middle of the fucking map? Just put it here. I feel like that'd be the best spot for a sniper. Just put it around here somewhere. Just line sight down the middle, maybe down this path. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. Let's see how we go without buying a summon phoenix. Oh, wait. No, we'll crush it. Yeah, I forgot Ben was hacking things. With Ben hacking things, that was a piece of cake. Okay, maybe we'll go for Crossbow Master first then. And as usual, have our Summon Phoenixes back up. Also, I don't know how it happened. Actually, I know exactly how it happened. But I got bit by a mosquito again on the elbow. Last time it happened, it was on my right elbow. This time it's on my left. These pricks. I wonder if I got bit enough. I would uh, build up an immunity to it. Right? Because the whole reason it's itchy and it's raised isn't actually because, you know, it's, uh, it's trying to poison you or some shit. It's just because your body is allergic to their saliva, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so your body's like, oh, that's not good for you. That's not good for you at all. Let's kill it. There we go. Crossbow Master. This game should practically sort itself out by now. Uh, so we're just going to chill out and watch, if I'm honest. After I record this, going out for a poker walk. Got a bunch of stuff to catch. Ooh, there's a Haunter here. Hell yeah. Haunter's one of my favorites. Absolutely love this guy. I wish he was a dark type Pokemon. I know that he's not, but I wish that he was. Because I've got a quest to take photos of dark type Pokemon for some reason. There we go. In the ball. There is currently a Halloween event on in Pokemon Go at the moment. And I am using it as much as I can to get a really solid ghost Pokemon. Alohan Meow. That is a dark type, but I've already taken a photo of it, and it wants three different ones. Why? My problem is, every time I do find a, a dark type Pokemon that I could take a photo of and have it count as my third one, I immediately forget that I have that challenge and I just catch it, and it specifies wild Pokemon, so you can't just take a photo of the ones in your inventory. Which sucks. Ooh, they're doing spooky packs as well. What was I gonna look at? I'm gonna look at that. Oh shit, it's the 20th! That means Darkrai is out in the raids, and so is Mega Burnett instead of Mega Gengar. The more you know, people, the more you know. We good? We good. That was a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. That did seem a little bit sketchy. Hmm. I shall be cautious. Wait, are you dark type? Are you a ghost type? What the fuck? I thought you would be dark type for sure. Guess not. Alright, let's calm it down here. 63, how are we looking? Mmm. Mmm. Not a fan of losing lives. If I'm honest. You just stick to last, buddy. I want to see how well that works for us. Actually worked out all right, but I do also want to keep my 150 lives if I can help it. I know I don't need to, and I know that it's not necessary, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? Wait, no, the start of 63 
on reversed mode will be the hardest part of 63 in regular mode. So that's a piece of piss now. Right, the rest of these should be slightly weaker and thus easier to kill on all fronts. Let's find out. Am I right? Ooh, I am. Yeah, we can get those back before round 70. Okay, what the fuck was that? Anyone wanna fess up? What the actual fuck was that? Deleted. And... Okay, fine, we missed some, that's fine. Just stick around for the third one. Thank you. What the hell, man? You think you know some towers. And then they just betray you. I've never even seen you a day in their life. They just stab you in the back. Anyway, we're back at full lives and the round's not over, so. I can't complain. Realistically, can't. We're gonna win this. Oh shit. Everybody knows the rounds between 63 and 76 are basically non existent. Sometimes we acknowledge round 75 for being difficult, but for the most part. Nah. Not that difficult. <laughs> God, I can't tell you how much I really want to scratch my elbow right now. Oh, there is an itch that must be scratched. Well, probably shouldn't be scratched, but it would feel so nice to scratch. So yeah, let's just confirm. Three, four. Yeah, okay, so that knocks out the other side. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, now we've got nine towers to take on Moon Landing. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, honestly. Should not be that bad. Oh boy, and we have a submarine to help us. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Is it weird that I'm thinking of tanking the first few rounds of lives just to try and place Benjamin as my first tower? I don't think that's weird. How many lives do we lose? Round one. 20? More? Maybe? I don't know. It seems like 20. $101. I didn't pop a single balloon there. Why did I get 101? Is this inflation? The secret inflation mode where money just starts growing on trees. 1,203? Where did I get two dollars from? Is that a passive that Ben just magically gets? Just by him existing in a map? He starts making passive income? That'd be great. I mean, it does already have that ability, but he has to be placed on the, on the field. Are we just dead this round? Yep. Oh well, worth a shot. <laughs> right, let's do this. Dead smack in the middle. We'll do the exact same thing, save up for Ben, except this will be our first tower. You don't often see a monkey ace start. Makes it unique. Also, some stupid yellow team pricks at like 10 o'clock at night the other night took over all three of the gyms at the park all to themselves. Right. And it was a diverse set of gyms. It was reds and blues. So now I have to go visit not only those three gyms, but another one that's also nearby to take over all of them to show, first of all, dominance. Because let's face it, 
Yellow team, not the most popular team at Pokemon Go. Let's be honest. Red and blue, much more, uh, much more heavy, heavy amounts of team players, you know? Because let's face it, red and blue are cooler colors. Blue especially. I personally, big fan of red. That's why I'm on red team. But if we're talking coolness, blue does win in the art sense. Um, but yeah. So I feel like pretty much everyone I know that plays Pokemon Go, other than my boss, which I only found out today, uh, typically picks either red or blue team. Oh, but technically his account he didn't make for himself. He made it for his partner, so maybe she picked yellow. Hmm. Unanswered questions. Anyway. Um... But yeah, I don't, I don't see many yellow team players out there. And the, t the few that I do see... Do not, uh... Do not vibe well. Because they steal all my shit. <laughs> Me? Red team. My sisters? Blue team. Understandable. Blue's a cool colour. I respect it. Nothing wrong with yellow as a colour, or yellow team as a team, but because me and my sisters are red and blue, we both kind of look at it like, well this fucking yellow team can't, can't exist near us. The fuck is that? We're not benefiting from that. And then we're just immediately like stomping the shit out of whoever happened to uh, dare take our gyms. More of a uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend, you know. Red and blue, quite frequently in this area, will team up on yellow because they deserve it for no other reason. Do do boom 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 boom. Uh, what sort of tower do I want you to grow up to be? Let's go with. I just want to throw a lot of darts everywhere. Let's go top path. Let's go top path, and then this this heli pilot can do other stuff. Should probably work on the heli pilot actually, considering it's going to be our main lead popper. Because let's face it, these pineapples are great and all, but they're not super consistent. Doom. Flying around now. Oh yeah, I should probably actually save up for the upgrade I was talking about. Also, I found out my boss has a shiny Moltres. I'm super fucking jealous. Like, what the hell, man? I don't have a shiny Moltres. I've got a regular one, but not a shiny one. Oh, hold up. Expected, I guess. You know, it's not like, uh. It's not like I was expecting anything completely menacing on moon landing. But yeah, honestly, I feel like I did sort of, uh. How do I put it? Overreact. When I first saw the Odyssey, I was like, oh shit, oh god, terrible maps straight at the start. Um, but yeah, I think I did sort of look at a bunch of the settings and just go, oh god, that's going to be awful. But it really wasn't. This was a very pleasant Odyssey, with a very interesting theme of reversing everything even the title of the Odyssey itself. Um, yeah, I really like it. I don't know why there are uh, tombstones on the moon, Ninja Kiwi. We 
sending astronauts up here to die. Hmm. That's worrying. Oh. I'm sure there's a law related reason that isn't about monkey death. Ooh, that was a bit scary. A little bit touch and go there. My hands weren't even on the keyboard to stop that if it went out of control. Because I had faith in my towers. And I was also looking for Pokemon, so can you really blame me? Yes, you absolutely can. In most scenarios, if people say something like, can you really blame me? The answer is probably yes. Yeah. They're just using that statement to try and attract sympathy for if you were in that situation, right? But the fact of the matter is, you were not in that situation. So you don't have to align with them. And sure, sometimes it's nice to see things from another person's perspective. But realistically, not all situations require it or are appropriate. Going on some random ass tangents today. Thank God, this Odyssey is almost over. Who knows what I'm talking about next? That's a lot of lives, buddies. Then again, we do have the Patchy Dodges now, so we shouldn't be losing any more. And we should get all of them back. Alright? Yeah. We'll get all of our lives back. Just. It'll certainly be cutting it close, but. We'll get it. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, although, the latest shiny I did catch was a shiny Guzzlord. Weird fucking name. I am aware. But, it, uh, it's a, it's, it's a very cool mythical beast. I did not realise that mythical beasts were a thing. Like, in comparison to legendaries, I just thought they were all legendaries. But, uh, nope. Mythical beast. And it's cool as hell. And the shiny version, even cooler. Do, 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 do. And I've got some trash to delete. You tagged. What are you tagged? You're tagged as tallest? Oh god, I forgot that was a thing. Dolly. You? Yeah, I guess that works. So they added in this stupid uh, showcase thing. Where it's like, oh hey, show off your Pokemon that are super tall, or super heavy, or super small, or super light things like that. I personally don't really care, but I will tag things like, oh, this is tallest or this is smallest. At this point in time, I'd rather the free inventory spaces, so I'm just going to go through and start deleting those all now. Because it would be useful if you could just put any Pokemon in there, but then obviously that would give advantages to people that, you know, have like a whale lord that weighs like a couple thousand kilos. Uh... So yeah, they do it for specific Pokemon, and it's just like whoever's got the heaviest or lightest or whatever of that Pokemon gets rewards and stuff, but I don't know, it's just a terrible idea, because I'm holding on to an insane amount of Pokemon just because they're tall or small. Hell no. Anyway, that has been Odyssey Reversa, or as the title says, Odyssey Rever... R Revesa. Revesa. Sorry. Revesa. There is, in fact, not three R's when there should be. Reversa. Um, anyway, that's the Odyssey done. Part two, fully wrapped up and completed. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. Bye-bye.